in asking senior federal prosecutors to examine a number of Republican grievances, Attorney General Jeff Sessions is trying to strike a balance. He appears to be attempting to placate a boss who has repeatedly suggested that Sessions' own job might be in jeopardy for failing to investigate his Democratic rivals. At the same time, Sessions is taking a step toward defending the Justice Department's credibility by leaving the actual work to senior officials whose findings, while unlikely to please everyone, would have more credibility. In a letter this week, the department directed senior federal prosecutors to evaluate certain issues raised by Republican lawmakers. Among them whether a special counsel should be appointed to look into allegations that the Clinton Foundation benefited from an Obama-era uranium transaction involving a Russian state company, a deal President Donald Trump himself has continually urged the Justice Department to investigate. Unlike other members of the president's cabinet, the attorney general is construed as mostly an independent operator, under long-standing policy practice and executive protocol. The Justice Department is not supposed to be influenced by the White House in deciding which cases to prosecute and which to discard after a review. The department's top staff is a mix of career officials and political appointees who juggle investigations behind closed doors while working more publicly to advance the administration's law enforcement agenda. Sessions may be trying to dig himself out of a bind with a move that allows him to say he handled the allegations properly by referring them to prosecutors, who could then credibly close the case without debasing the Justice Department. Neither the letter, signed by Stephen E. Boyd, an assistant attorney general, nor Sessions named the senior prosecutors who will be involved in the review sought by Republicans. But they will most likely be career officials accustomed to operating free from political sway.